this is the Sophia line of base plates. A lot of the stuff we've designed is meant to be modular so you can switch it around. Um, for example, this fits a, a locking tremolo and it has specific sizes. The risers here between the two knife edges typically is 2.915 inches. We call our model the 292. In a similar way, the fender has spacing here that is 2.22 inches, we call it the 222. Each of these have expanded knife edges so that there's some flexibility in fitment. They will fit vintage instruments. The same thing with our 7. For these guitars, a higher bridge element is used, so the 292 macro tuner is taller, and the base plate to the IP or intonation point is 315 inches and there's an advantage to that. For the Fender style, the base plate to intonation point is much lower, about 187 to 207. Here we have a macro tuner that has a shorter nose so it sits forward and sits lower for the Fender spec. We have a locking saddle, string through the back and lock using the same patented locking system we have here, or we have a top loading system you can string through the bottom like a regular fender style tremolo with our steel block or through the top where the windings end up at the intonation point offering very stable without any extra mechanism. Each of these three tremolo plates are available uh, with various riser sets. This is a sealed riser set. You can use a screw and a wrench to thread here to adjust into a sealed riser situation and so by locking very firmly your tremolo post in position you add to stability. It's available in the sevens and sixes. You can put it on here as well. This is what we normally ship with. We also have a Titanics titanium riser set that's available for a minor upcharge that you can have in any of these tremolos. And for the fender we have a more small head size that's traditionally correct to the size and position of the knife edges here. Ideally, the architecture of the base plates is all the same, or the bases of the saddles are the same, so everything's mix and match. In fact, we have one builder, rather than building in sevens with the traditionally higher uh, saddles, use the Fender one for a lower fit. It's his design. You could actually put any of these saddles on any of them. Here, we have our two hardtails. On a Fender type guitar where the bolt on neck keeps the strings parallel to the body, we have a very low profile system here with a six and seven. Again, you can put on a low profile bridge or saddle or locking. Or if you have a, a very high uh, angle out nonetheless or more of a deep recess, you can of course order with the 292 bridge saddle. So there's a lot of variation on meeting your needs. On this side is a standard setup for a tunematic placement with a slight angle and the stud tail pieces that will drop fit in that vintage standard. We recommend the 292 because the combination of a thicker base plate and a taller intonation point fits the Gibson or in bolt on or angle necks much better. If you feel something else is lower or higher you can use any of these because they're interchangeable. From Tysonics we will offer rear bolts and we feel this makes a really nice tonal combination. The final really unique aspect of each of these base plates is that they have extended slots in each case. This has an 18 degree possibility, this is 11 possibility and so on which are perfect for multi-scale. So here using a simple macro tuner you could have your first string in intonation point here and then back all the way off here and create a nice 18 degree angle. 15 degree here, 18 degree here, and so on. So these guitar bass plates are multi-scale capable.